Welcome everyone to our online course on learning about the Catholic faith. My name is Father Gilbert Dodato. I'm speaking to you from St. Mary of the Angels Parish in Perth Andover, New Brunswick. I will be giving an overview of chapter four. Remember that we are learning about God in our faith. That is why this course is special. We are praising God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our focus will be on Jesus' promise to send the Holy Spirit to his disciples. Jesus knew that after his work on earth was complete, his disciples would need help in living as he had asked them to live. Jesus promised that the Holy Spirit would come to them and give them strength. The Holy Spirit would help them, the disciples, to remember all that Jesus had taught them. After Jesus' death and resurrection, he appeared to his disciples several times. Then 40 days after he rose from the dead, Jesus called his disciples to a mountain in Galilee. He told them that he wanted them to continue his mission to bring the good news of God's love to the world. Jesus said, Go therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, yes, to the end of the age. Matthew 28, chapter, verses 19 to 20. This event in our faith is called the Ascension, when our Lord returned to the God in heaven. Our next focus is on the Holy Spirit comes to his disciples. This took place on Sunday, 50 days after Jesus rose from the dead. This event is called Pentecost. And at Pentecost, the Holy Spirit appeared to them and strengthened them in tons of fire, as the scriptures tells us in Acts. They could go out and speak in all different languages. On this day, Peter, on Pentecost, and the disciples were no longer afraid to speak about Jesus and his teachings. And that's how we should be, especially those of us who are learning this course for confirmation. The Holy Spirit will give you strength to be a disciple of Jesus in this world. The day the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus, disciples is called Pentecost. It was on this day that the church began. The church is the community of people who are baptized and follow Jesus Christ. The next focus is the Holy Spirit guides the church. Jesus chose the Apostle Peter to be the head of the church. On Pentecost, the Holy Spirit filled Peter and the other disciples of Jesus with courage and love to go out and spread the good news. They are sharing the teachings of Jesus, sharing that they had with the poor, talking and taking care of all who are sick and disabled, gathering together to pray, celebrating the Eucharist, celebrating the presence of the risen Christ among them. More and more people ask to be baptized. With the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the church spread throughout the world. The Holy Spirit 
help the church, the people of God, to love God and to love one another. The Holy Spirit helped the members of the church to share the good news of Jesus, Jesus Christ, to everyone in the world. And so let us pray and ask the Lord to help us with a special prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen.